What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I am Stevie, the Military Biker. Uh, today I've got one fantastic product for you guys. Some of you guys would have seen this product before, but some of you may not know that this is something that you can actually buy for your M8. Well, today I am going to be showing you how to install and talking you through this phenomenal bit of kit from Fueling. <laughs> So, like I said, it's a, it is a phenomenal bit of kit, and you know some people know it exists, and some people don't. Uh, if you are obviously you know wanting to look at some uh, upgrades for your engine and stuff like that, then you know probably this is where you want to start, maybe, um, because this, as you guys know, uh, with any engine, uh, not in particular the M8, but you know uh, engines, Harley Davidsons, uh, engines across the board, realistically, um, you do get a lot of build up pressure inside the crankcase. Uh, oil pressure, crankcase pressure, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and this product, the uh, the fuel invented dipstick, will actually help me control uh, any excess buildup of pressure within the crankcase in the bike, uh, and obviously release that pressure uh, through here. So um, it's a great bit of kit. So let's take a look what comes with the fuel invented dipstick. Okay, we've got the vented dipstick itself, the fuel and parts, the actual hose and uh, filter system with the quick release on the end. And what else is in there? There's the other quick release pieces to fit into the dipstick itself. And a little fuel and magnet. Sweet. So let's dive, out, dive in bit more into this. Let's get it open and we'll see. We've got some Loctite, instruction manual, we've got our pieces for the, uh, the quick release Allen key and pincher bolt and obviously we've got our wire, our rubber hose and the filter itself. So uh, you're probably asking, well, how does the vented dipstick work and what is inside of the vented dipstick? Well, uh, I'm about to show you. So there is actually the, this is the vented dipstick itself. There is the sealed lid. Uh, that's obviously that is inside in, in the rubber seal, uh, which keeps it great. This is your quick release uh, for the hose system. And this one here is, is your, basically, if you didn't want to put the hose system on, you could actually just use this, which fits right to the top of the lid of the, uh, the venting dipstick right here, just threads in. But however, bear in mind, if you do use this, uh, you are going to potentially have the oil that comes out of this breather in and around. It's going to go all over the engine and stuff like that when it does come out, okay? So the preferred method by fueling is to use the quick release with uh, the hose. So there is the hose and there's the quick release which again screws into the top of the uh, the lid of that uh, cap. So what is inside of this I hear you say? Well, uh, we've got uh, a spacer, we've got a three quarter inch uh, OD mesh screen, we've got another spacer, we've got a one and quarter inch OD mesh screen, uh, we've got a filter element, uh, we've got a perforated disc and an umbrella valve. Okay, so uh, these are all serviceable, i.e. you can actually, after, you know, when it's recommended that when you do your oil changes and stuff like that, you take these out, you give them a good service, you give them a clean, uh, whoa, that one is <laughs> tough to get hold of. Um, you give it a clean and you give it a good service as well the next time you do your oil change as well, okay? What else? Um, we've got the Allen key and the, uh, the little set screw which is in there, which again you can use. There is one already in there, but they give you a spare one uh, that just in case that one goes missing. So it does come pre-made, all right, but I just wanted to strip, strip this out and show you guys exactly what's inside, but I will show you how to put it back together just in case you actually did want to go in there and check it out for yourself. So, First thing you want to do is pick up your vented dipstick. You want to get your spacer, your first spacer, you want to drop it in, okay? It will drop in nice and thing. Then you want to get your little, uh, your sorry, three quarter uh, OD mesh screen that goes in there, sits inside. Then there's another spacer that goes in, drop, just drops in completely uh, machined superbly so it fits right in. Then you're going to get your one and, uh, one and a quarter inch uh, mesh screen, put that in. Then you're going to put your filter element in. Then, of course, you're going to put, I'm just going to lay this down for a second, then you're going to put your um, your perforated disc and your umbrella valve. So, as you can see on here, 
and I'll just bring it a little bit closer. You want your perforated disc central hole to go into where the umbrella valve is like this. And you just push it through like that until it's through to the other side and you've got a good seal uh, like so. And then all you do is then you put your umbrella uh, valve on top there like so and then you should give it a little bit of a push down. You will notice underneath on the cap itself like so there is uh, an indent there that should push this down. So all you've got to do is once you put everything together okay you just twist it on and you tighten it up like so and then like I said there is a set screw there um, if you need to move anything around later on and once you're happy with where your uh, your logo is sitting etc then obviously you can use your little set your little set screw to tighten that up but there you have it there is the vented dipstick now what I will say is on the side here um, it says FHS and FHU okay so FHS stands for full hot stand uh, and FHU stands for full hot upright fuel and do say that you're supposed to be running your bike between 95 and 99 percent full of oil okay so just make sure that when you're doing this obviously you are running a, when you are checking this you are running a hot engine up to uh, normal operating temperatures a quick reminder obviously as the card says so there all right there is uh, some uh, 545 thread sealant lock included and it tells you exactly where you want to put it you want to put it on the threads of the dipstick itself around here and you want to put on the set screw once you're happy so as they are legends that they are they provide you the loctite so all you need to do is use excuse me use what they give you put it onto there put it onto the set screw and you're good to go and that is you ready to rock and roll okay so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to fit the quick release system into the top of the cap uh, on the fueling vented dipstick just go all the way down with it as tight as you can and then you are going to need a 7 16 spanner to just nip it down like so don't go crazy all right you'll know when it's when it's good and you'll know when it's tight okay so you don't need to go mad i mean that is about as much as i'm going to do it so there you go there you've got the quick release uh the male version uh, attached to the cap on the fuel invented dipstick Okay, so obviously this is going to be replacing your stock dipstick which is inside of the bike. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do is because we need to route uh, the rubber tube all the way around here and underneath of the bike. We need to take off the cover panel on the side and your saddle bag. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so for this job as well, you are going to need to remove your seat because it needs to run under the frame uh, along where the seat and the battery go uh, to the right hand side of the frame and then along and back and down. So remove your seat. Also, another top tip, while you've got your saddlebag off and obviously the side panel, etc., there's a good time to also check your rear brakes, check your pads, uh, see if see if they're good, check your uh, your discs for any, any uh, bearing in it, any damage to them, etc. So while you've got that off, check your rear brakes. Okay, so now we've set up the dipstick uh, for use. What we want to do is remove your OEM dipstick. Dipstick? Dipstick. Dipstick. <laughs> Clearly, all right. Now you're going to need some rag at this point, okay? So you don't want to pull this out and oil go everywhere. So get yourself some rag uh, that you can capture the oil when it comes out on the OEM dipstick. And at this point, you can go ahead and fit your new fueling uh, vented dipstick. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, well, <laughs> now if you are sitting there wondering, uh, well, how the hell do I know where to put it, Stevie? Well, fueling, being the legends that they are, provide you with this little bad boy which is the instructions for uh, how to route it through or route it through uh, underneath your frame of the bike and it even tells you in the pictures there exactly where to run it uh, and it shows you pictures from in the battery bay itself where you know red arrows to show you exactly how to run it 
and then a picture of underneath of the bike as well there where to put the capture uh, the capture filter if you like underneath the bike so uh, i'm going to follow the instructions because you know why wouldn't i <laughs> uh, and i'm going to run the pipe around the frame underneath the bike and secure it with the cable ties provided what i will say about these uh, the cable ties don't over tighten the cable ties all right because if you do over tighten them you're going to pinch the pipe closed um, so just nice you know nice and gentle uh, with the pipe as it goes around don't pinch the pipe because it kind of defeats the object of what you're trying to achieve so i'm gonna crack on with that Once you're happy you've threaded through female onto the male click it in like you can see that there like that and then just push it into place and that is it locked into position the quick release valve okay now at this point you've connected your, uh, your quick release you've run it around the the frame as per the fuel and instructions now what you need to do is you actually need to cable tie this is the way I've done it anyway. You actually need to cable tie your tube to the frame, right, going around. It, it does actually run up here, across there, down there, across, underneath, and down underneath the bike. You can probably see the filter underneath there somewhere right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, nice and gently, remember, nice and gently, uh, I'm gonna cable tie tube into position, and then using a pair of snips, I'm gonna snip off the ends so there's no extra uh, cable tie anywhere when I'm doing this. So I'm going to start from up here. I'm also, what I will say as well, I'm also going to give myself a little bit of slack on this end where it actually connects just in case because obviously you're going to need to take this off to check oils, etc. etc. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of slack and it also helps not to bend or snap or pull uh, taut the, the actual rubber tube in itself. guys uh, that is pretty simple job to do if I'm honest um, you've seen obviously me uh, telling you guys about the, the, how the actual vented dipstick is put together the little intricate parts that are in, inside of the vented dipstick what it does uh, you know and how to route it through your frame on your Milwaukee 8 on your street glide special or your street glide road glide road glide special okay now these retail for around about 300 bucks US dollars I think it's 2 dollars on the website and it does come in uh, either black or chrome okay so you, if you've got a chrome bike uh, you can get it chrome or like me if you've got a black then you know you can, you can get it in black pretty simple like I said to do um, but it just alleviates that excess crankcase pressure uh, with the inside of the Milwaukee 8 uh, and not only the Milwaukee 8 that you can actually get these for twin cams as well all right you can actually get them for that from the fuel website um, so if you've got an M8 or a twin cam grab yourself uh, a fueling vented dipstick and it was pretty simple like i said to, to route it around the frame obviously yeah you gotta take your bags off you gotta take your side panel off whatever that's easy you know what i mean um and obviously like i said use the cable ties but use them sparingly do not be grunching them on do not be over tightening them okay because you will cut off that flow of oil and you end up with oil everywhere and there won't be any <laughs> there won't be any pressure being released will there because you pressurize the, the line as it were so yeah I'm, I'm super impressed with this i really am uh what i will say is well underneath when you put the filter on underneath do not over tighten uh the filter with the cable ties i had to use two cable ties okay because um i needed i wanted a little bit more secureness of it so i used two cable ties together and then around the filter underneath the bike so um again don't don't for, don't over tighten it because it will crush the filter which and then that'll be game over you'll have to buy a new one so yeah pretty simple the instructions have come with it great it tells you exactly where to route it uh, or route it if you're from, the America, from North America um, and obviously get yourself uh, over to fueling I will leave a link down below and obviously the website will be here right now uh, for you guys to go over and check out fueling um, they've been around since 1964 I believe 
um, and it was a veteran owned company. Uh, at one point I believe the owner, the, the, um, the guy who, who built the company uh, was US Army Special Forces. So, uh, you know, it's great to see veterans. Um, he's passed away now, but you know, it's great to see a veteran company go so far. And, and these guys are involved as well with um, King of Baggers as well. So, you know, <laughs> they're outstanding parts. So yeah, I'm impressed. I am impressed. Hopefully that will alleviate some pressure. I know it will. Uh, with inside the inside the, the crank case the crank case of the bike. So anyway, I'm gonna get put my uh, saddle bags back on, saddle bags back on, and my side panel. So uh, you guys don't need to see that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, please remember to subscribe. It does help the channel grow, okay? Um, and if you are a veteran, thank you very much for your service. If you are saving right now, again, thank you for your service. Stay safe uh, wherever you are around the world. And remember, you'll never walk alone. You know, it helps with, with like I said, the, 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 the crank crepe, the crank cake. Oh, fuck off. So, yeah, so it's going to help with that. Um, blah, blah, blah. So, let's take a look at what comes with the fueling 